Warning, the following video contains proxies. Hey guys, I'm back with another deck profile today. I got the Sky Striker day. Uh, St Sky Striker. God damn it, I wanted to call it Brandish Maiden for a second there. You know what, whatever. We got these. It's not complete. There is proxies, so be careful. You have been warned. Okay. We have three Ray. I'm missing one. Dude, these things were fucking hard to pull. I had a, I pulled, like, what, 32 packs? 34 packs. I only got two. These are crazy to get. They're so short printed, but they're not short printed. They're just hard to get. So, yeah. I'm playing one Diablos, and I'm doing the tune, so I have the Cyber Dragon. I know the Toon Cannon Soldier is better, but that thing just spiked up crazy, and I don't have one. Maybe Andrew should have probably like three. I'm going to ask him for one, possibly. Two Gamma Chew. You're wondering why are you playing Gamma Chew? Well, I realized since I don't have evenly matched, and this deck dies to Naturia Beast horribly, uh, just Gamma Seal the Naturia Beast and go ham. So yeah, or just Gamma Seal the Problem card, and you're fine. Kaijus are back, baby, even though they were always there. Two Ghost Ogre. And uh, two Ash. I am missing the Ash, but who cares? I know a guy. I think I saw a post on this group I'm in, and someone uh, has like a way to make real proxies, and it's made of the same material that Konami uses for their cards. So I'm thinking, hey, we can go just buy fake cards and just go, you know, basically cheat at tournaments with fake cards, and you can't tell the difference. So yeah, all right. Next up, we got three Mobile Engage. Yes, guys, I pulled two, not three, but who cares? Out of my first 20 packs in one opening, I pulled two of these guys. Check out that opening. You guys are going to love that one. It was amazing. But here's the sad part about the opening. I don't have three Widow Anchors, and I need three Widow Anchors. This is going to be the problem card for me, probably. I believe it's a $30, $40 card, and uh, people are going to be stingy with this. So, yeah, three Widow Anchor, and um, what it does is if you have no mon uh, if you have no monsters in the main monster zone, target one face of monster, one effect monster on the field, uh, negate its effects, and if you have three more spells in Graveyard... Or target one your opponent controls, sorry, negate its effects. And you have three or more, take control of the monster. So you basically get to steal the monster for free. You can link with it and all that fun shit. Okay, three Hornet Drones. This one's pretty good. I, I read this, I was like, hey, why is this a super? It's really broken. It should have been a secret. I'm lying. That would have been bad. Alright, if you control monsters in the main monster zone, special one Sky Striker Ace token. And it's a Warrior Dark level one. It's a Sky Striker, so guess what? You can make the damn links with it. So, yeah, that works. And then, of course, we got our one Afterburner. And the one jamming waves. These are basically almost the same card. If you control no monster, the main monster don't target one face of monster on the field, destroy it. Then if you have three or more, destroy one spell or trap on the field. This one is if you control no monster, the main monster zone, target one set spell or trap on the field, destroy it. Then if you have three or more, destroy one monster. So basically, this one destroys monsters, then destroys spells. This one destroys spells, then destroys the monster. So that's pretty good. Alright, no lie, guys, I have not read this card because it was so much words. So I'm just going to read it now. Sky Striker, Mecha Modules, Multi Mode, Multi Roll. Once per turn, target one other card you control, send that card to the graveyard. Also, your opponent can activate cards or effects in response to your spell card's activations for the rest of this turn. Even if this card leaves the field, you can only gain the previous effect once per turn. Okay. Once per turn during your end phase, you can set one Sky, sky Striker spell card to different names for your graveyard up to the number of Sky Striker spell cards you activate this turn while this card was face up on your field, but banish them when they leave the field. Hey, that's pretty broken. Wow, well, what a weird game. And we got our one Shark Cannon. I haven't read this one either, guys. Uh, let's see, target one monster opponent's graveyard, banish that monster, or if you have three or more, special... Okay, you basically get to monster reborn a monster from your opponent. That's broken. And this one, area zero. Uh, I don't want to read the first effect, but the bottom effect is, basically, if it's destroyed by a card effect, special strike tracker ace from the deck, say so special summon ray. Broken. And uh, three tune tables, I'm sorry, I only pulled two. But I'm going to go probably pull the third one, or just ask someone for one. Three full sparrow goods. Three twin twister, because of anti-spell. And just chain it immediately, and you're fine. One Rota. One Monster Reborn, that's Hobby League. One, oh, sorry, you didn't see that one. Metal Full Fusion. You're know, like, why are you doing that? Because um, when it's, you can just dump it to Graveyard with Full Spare Goods, or just discard it for Twin, and then shuffle it, draw a card. It's draw power. Speaking of draw power, there's the best one in the game. And then we got the Warning and Strike. You can make this judgment. I just wanted to throw in two traps, because I didn't want to play all spells. That would have been pretty bad. But yeah. Alright, that's it for the main deck. For the extra deck, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I just put in the Sky Strikers. I did not want to go digging around for all my decodes and all that. It's right here. I'm lying, guys. Alright, first off, we have Sky Striker Ace Kagari. One non-fire Sky Striker Ace. So basically, you cannot use herself for herself. If this card special summon, target one Sky Striker spell in graveyard, add it to hand. That is probably the best effect. So you can act, you mobilize back. You're engaged. So you can get, like, plus one. Get a search and a draw. And it gains 100 for each spell in your graveyard. So not bad. And um, please don't hate me for this. 
unboxing too, because uh, this I've seen even on a lot of openings. I've only seen one come out of a box. I've seen more of this than this. It's ridiculous. One non-water Sky Striker Ace, so basically can't use itself for itself. Monster's opponent controls lose a thousand attack events. So basically, this one gains. This one makes them lose. So this is more defensive. This is more offensive. Once per turn during the end phase of this card special on this turn, add a Sky Striker spell card from your deck to your hand with the name different from the cards in your graveyard. So basically, if you have Engage in your graveyard, you can't add Engage. You gotta add something else. But more than likely, you'll find something broken. Like you can add probably Widow Anchor and just screw them up because it's a quick play too. Widow Anchor. That's that's broken as hell. A lot of these cards are quick plays. All right. So other than that, the extra deck is whatever you want it. You can just add Firewall, Skull Dread. More than likely not Skull Dread. Cause actually, no, I'm lying. Decode all that stuff. Trigate, Triple Burst Dragon, stuff like that. So yeah, that's it for this Sacred File. Hope you guys like it. I hope I get to complete the rest of it because I want to go to locals and deal with this. Maybe go to OTS and uh, win a few packs or win something, and that'd be nice. But hope you guys like this. And um, there's a lot of other versions of this deck. I know some people don't play the Tune Engine. But uh, more than likely, I think they always play a bunch of hand traps. They play Winter Cherries, yeah. And the reason I don't play Winter Cherries is because I'm not an ass. <laughs> I don't want to just, like, make my opponent cry. So, yeah. That's it for this. Uh, check out the openings, guys, if you want to see me pull Double Engage. It's so broken. And uh, check out other uh, deck profiles coming up. We do have a Spire one coming up. I don't know if this is going to be before that or after. I think this is going to probably go first because I did mention this deck in that deck profile. So, yeah, be warned. All right, comment, like, and subscribe for more.